This is question 18. Here I'm told that OACD is a trapezium made from three equilateral triangles. I'm told that OA is equal to A, and we can see that written on. OB is equal to B, and that M is the midpoint of CD. So that's half, M is halfway between C and D. I'm asked, first of all, to write AB in terms of A and B. So how can I get from that point A to that point B? So the way in which I can do this is remembering that I can, when I've got these algebraic vectors, the only way that I can get from one place to the other is by using these roots. I can't go directly from A to B because I don't know what that vector is. That hasn't been described algebraically. However, I can get from A to B by using A to O and then O to B. So I'm going to do this by going from A to O and then go from O to B. Now the vector A to O is being described as, well O to A is being described as A. If I want to go in the reverse direction, that will simply be negative A. And then from O to B, that's being described as B. So it's negative A plus B. So that's part A done. Now I'm then told, show that OC is parallel to BM. So O to C is parallel to B to M. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out what this vector OC is going to be equal to. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to need to work out, well, how can I get from O to C? And the way that I'm going to do this is actually quite simple. To get from O to C, because we are told at the beginning that these are equilateral triangles, and we are told that this is a trapezium, what I can say is that the distance from O to B is exactly the same as the distance of A to C, because they are three equilateral triangles. And because this is a trapezium, I can say that AC is parallel to OBD. So that length there is parallel to that length there. So because of that, what I can say about the uh, what I can say about AC is that this is the vector, this is the same vector as OB. I can describe that vector there as being B because it goes in the same direction because they're parallel, OD and AC are parallel. And as well as that, I know that it is the same distance. AC and OB are the same distance because they're equilateral triangles. So, to get from O to C, I can simply say that this is going to be A plus B. Now, that's AC. What I then need to show is the vector BM. So, let's show the vector BM. And when doing this, we can actually say... Um, we can actually use some of the facts that we talked about just a moment ago. So because these are equilateral triangles, that means that BC is going to be the vector A. So let's write that as A. And I can say that BD is the same as vector, the vector B. Now, in order to go from B to M, I've got a small problem because I don't know what, how to get from C to M. Okay, or I don't even know how to get from C to D. So I can't go straight there. I could either go from B to C and then C to M, or I could go from B to D and D to M. But I can't go straight from B to M. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to say, well, M is the midpoint of CD. And I know that CD, and again, just using exactly the same reasons as before, CD is parallel to AB. They are both equilateral triangles, and therefore 
AB must be parallel to CD. So, what I can say in order to get from B to M is that I'm going to go from uh, B to C to begin with, which is described as A, and then from C to M. Now, what I can say here is that this is simply going to be, to get from C to M, that is going to be half of the vector of C to D. Now, I've already worked out that AB, that this vector, was minus A plus B. So that means that the vector CD, that that must be equal to minus A plus B as well. So what I'm saying is that to get from B to M, I'm going to go from B to C, which we said was A, and then I'm going to go half of the vector C to D. So it's half of minus A plus B. So all that's left for me to do with this vector BM is to tidy it up a little bit. So we're saying that this is A plus, um, or actually we should say really that this is going to be negative half A, isn't it? So half multiplied by negative A, which would be minus half A, and then half multiplied by B, so half B. So we've got, and again, just tidying this up again, we can say that this is equal to half A plus half B. And so we've now got, and let's just rewrite these over here, I've got my vector for OC, which we worked out as being A plus B. I've got my vector for BM, which we said was uh, half half A plus half B. And therefore, to show that they are parallel, what I'm going to do with this vector BM is I'm just going to take that factor of a half out. So this is half of A plus B. And so what we can say is that therefore OC and uh, BM are parallel. And then we could say that the magnitude of BM is half the magnitude of OC if we wanted to. Um, what we're saying here is that by, by taking that factor of a half out is we're just saying that BM is half of the distance of OC. So they both go in the same direction, but BM is half of that distance. And therefore, we can say that OC and BM are parallel.